Hello there! Wow! Perfect! Wonderful! Well done! What is up, everybody? Let's see, we got Corgan, Toasty, Geo. Uh, Corgan is saying, started already and finally. It's like right at 3 o'clock on the nose. Perfect timing. Cool Skeleton 29, what is up? Almond Guy, uh, Joyce, I don't, Guacanole, I don't think I missed anybody, but I could have, so I apologize if I did. Isaiah was in here earlier. Um, so welcome, welcome, everybody. Toshi says it's 3.02, 3.01. Now it's 3.01. I'm late. Okay. Well, my clock says 3 o'clock. I mean, now it says 3.01, but... <laughs> oh my guy says, did you watch even more Clone High? I have not watched anything lately. So this is what has been going on. Let me jump into regular battle here, but... I've been recording non-stop gameplay for the past, like, two days straight. I just actually... Literally minutes before I jumped on here for the live stream... Um... I did an unboxing 
A very special unboxing for Paws Games of this bad boy. Oh, this beautiful new Xbox Series X, which just arrived today on launch day from Microsoft. So, oh, put that back down there. It's a heavy cinder block, but it's a. I'm excited to get into it. But yeah, that's why. Uh, that's what that is. <laughs> that's why I was not late. I wasn't late. Maybe a minute late because I was grabbing a drink before going live. Uh, why am I using a charger? What? Crap. I'm already screwed. Okay. Oh my god, South says South Park is pretty cool. I love South Park. Corgan says, why do you keep doing premieres? Uh, because it's a great way to release videos. I mean, like, it's not like... Oh, crap. Ooh, I actually got a hit. Or a kill, but... But, uh, yeah, no, like, I... It's a cool way to release videos because, you know, I can interact with people, assuming I'm not super busy and not even, in, like, able to get in, but... Um, which was the case this past Sunday, actually. But... It allows me to get, um a good number of views right at release, or right at launch. Crap. Hell's Night. Um, oh my guy says, what is your, sa your favorite South Park episode? Ooh, okay, so... Hmm. That's an awesome question. <laughs> My wife doesn't actually let me watch South Park anymore because she hates it. I mean, she doesn't care if I watch it, but she hates it, so she doesn't like watching it. Uh, well, recently, I don't know, did you guys see the, uh, the anybody who watches South Park? The, uh, oh, what, the quarantine, the pandemic special. The pandemic special was freaking great. For anybody who watched that. Crap. I'm terrible with this charger. Get me out of this game. Somebody... <sighs> it appears somebody else is using a charger, too. Crap. Yeah, nope. I got one kill this entire time. Uh, oh my gosh, so the, the pandemic special is your favorite. I don't know. I loved it, don't get me wrong. I don't know if I would say it was my absolute all-time favorite, though. Um, I really like the movie, too. Bigger, longer, and uncut. Crap. Okay. Which, which South Park episode is my favorite? <sighs> I'm not even totally sure. I know there was a big... I love the episode... Um, the episode with the, the console wars. Which I think was back when the PS3 and the Xbox 360 were coming out. But I could be wrong. It might have been the Xbox One and the... PlayStation 4. I'm not totally sure. But it's one, it's an older episode, but I, I love that episode. Um, let me change this, because I'm... Let me get back to my splatter shot. Yeah. There we go. So Toasty Basil says you're going down. So I assume you're Star... Star T? Level 36 Star T, I assume, is Toasty Basil. Okay, wait, so there's a lot going on in this chat right now, and I'm just trying to keep up. Okay, so, Toasty's in. Uh, Guacanol says, yo, I'm Bob Ross. You see me? Oh, wait. 
Oh, okay. So Bob. Okay, so Walking is Bob Ross in this game. So he's in here too. Okay. I was like, what are you talking about? Okay, that makes sense. Morgan says, "Hubby, Bubby, Gubby." Crap. Now, limo rolled me over. For some reason, my nose is really itchy. I'm trying to focus as hard as I can here, but <laughs> this happened yesterday when I was finishing up Super Mario 64, too. Ah, Toast got me. That was unexpected. Oh my God, says my favorite episode is either the Snook or South Park is gay. Oh my God. See, every time, now, <laughs> the more I think about it, the more I think of great episodes. I liked, I liked a lot of the specials, like um, Imagination Land. Ooh, I splatted toast. Imagination. I like uh, when Randy was um, Lord. If anybody remembers Lord, that one hit wonder. You guys probably know Lord. Lord, that was a that was a relatively recent thing, right? Within the Lord was she was a popular toast. Lord was popular like a couple years ago. I can think of the age group of the people here, and I think I think you guys would have. But anyway, not important, I guess. But yeah, 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 yeah. I am Lord. I love that episode. Toast got me again. Corgus says, drugs are bad. Drugs are bad. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Good old Mr. Mackey. Is this Toast again? Toast, leave me alone. Drugs are bad. Uh. <laughs> Corgus says, where's the room tour? I know. I know. And I can't even claim that I'm I'm still working on it because I completely forgot about it. I'll be honest, because you've been ha you haven't been here reminding me every single episode or every single live stream. But I did just get my new Series X, so I will have some updates to roll in anyway. Ooh, I got toast. Ooh, cleaning house. Oh my god. We just cleared house at the last second there. That was great. It was a great little push at the end there. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh my guy says, uh, now that I think about it, Cripple Fight is a pretty good... Oh, ep <laughs> yeah, see? The more, we th the more you talk about it, the more episodes I think of. Uh, Camp Tardy Kaka is pretty great. Mimsy! <laughs> oh, God. I love South Park. South Park is by far one of the greatest shows ever made. <laughs> when I'm feeling like an adult, I watch South Park. I know. Surprising. But when I feel like an adult, I watch South Park. When I want to feel like a child, I watch Spongebob. Both, believe it or not, have adult jokes in them. Uh, except Spongebob kind of covers it up and tries to keep it kid-friendly. Whereas South Park obviously does not care. Uh, Corgan says I'm not old enough to watch it. What, South Park? I, see, my parents made the mistake of putting a little cable TV in my bedroom. Well, they got one, okay, so it, I have a sister who's two years older than me. So, she got a TV, and they didn't want to be unfair. So I got a lot of things that she got. But when she got him, she was two years older than me. So when they felt that, like, she was mature enough to have, like, a cell phone or uh, a TV or whatever, suddenly I was old enough, too, just because they wanted to be, you know, symmetrical with that kind of parenting, whatever. So I, I'm not complaining, but I, I got a TV in my room. I got a computer in my room at a pretty young age. And, uh... 
I gotta say, I, I like... Say what you will, I think that the computer in my room, uh, made me the man that I am today. <laughs> Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. But I had my head stuffed in a computer from a very, very young age. Um, first computer I had in my room was running Windows 98. Which is pretty crazy. Just because, like, it wasn't 1998 when I got it, because I would have been, like, what, four years old or something? But, um... Or no, I would've been two years old, actually. So, definitely didn't get it then. But, um... Yeah, that was the first ever PC that I had in my room. It was a big, thick PC. Half of you don't even, even know what I'm talking about. Half of you have never even seen a computer I'm talking about. With a big, fat back, like an t old television set. It was like this wide. It's crazy. Running Windows 98. Had, uh, pretty much nothing on it <laughs> in regards to software. Kid Picks. It had Kid Picks on it. <laughs> I used to use a laptop from 2007. I have, we used, uh, to have one in our garage. Yeah, so, like, you might know what I'm talking about. But, like, uh, yeah, dial-up connections and stuff. Like, go online. Back when AOL was a thing, and not just, like, I don't know, is AOL still a thing at all anymore? I don't think it is. I know it exists, like, I still have, an a like, an AIM email address, and an AOL email address that I don't think I have access to anymore. It's like Yahoo, kind of. Yahoo died out. There was Ask Jeeves, but yeah, dial-up internet connection? Oh my god, there was no such thing as wireless, so don't think about that. Um, no Wi-Fi existed. It was a dark time in my childhood. Or, like, the early part of my childhood. It's actually pretty crazy to think about the technological advancements that we've made in the past, like, decade alone. Or the past, like, 20 years alone. It's pretty freaking crazy. And really cool, in my opinion. Oh, I was gonna get them. Corgan says the 90s were the best. I would pretty much agree with that. Um, so, like, 96, when I was born, my birth year had some of the greatest things ever roll out. So, obviously, the Nintendo 64 rolled out and Super Mario 64. That console and game launched in 1996. I believe my birthday... I think Pokemon was actually introduced in 96 as well. Um, I want to say it was my, when did Pokemon release? Now, I'm kind of blending the dates together. Uh, did Pokemon come out? So the anime, or the anime came out in 96. Yeah, February 1996, Pokemon Electronic Game Series from Nintendo that debuted in Japan in February 1996 as Pokemon Green and Red. And I'm pretty sure it was, like, beyond just, like, my birth month and my birth year. I think it had something to do with my birthday, too, which was pretty crazy, the 26th. I'm not totally sure about that part, though. But regardless, February 1996 was a big year. Pokemon came out. The Nintendo Beast was born. <laughs> but yeah. It's been it's been wild. So 96 was freaking awesome. I'm sure other great things happened in 96 as well. Besides my birth and Pokémon's birth and the Nintendo 64's birth. Corgan says, bring Nicole back. Nicole was back for the Halloween stream. I don't remember if you were on it. Oh, cool. Toast is on my side. That must be why we won last round and why I haven't been hunted so severely. I was gonna say, I feel as though, uh... They were trying to get a squid a squid party going. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Dozy said John stop party. 
I wasn't totally sure. I just saw people running at me, and I lit them up. And then it became a war zone. But the second somebody shoots me, I'm I'm lighting everybody up, just for you aware. Yep. Totoro doesn't get the message. And now we now we open fire. Everybody is hunt Totoro. That wasn't Totoro, but had to be done. They just committed suicide. <laughs> Bob Ross. Sorry, Bob Ross. Where's Totoro at? Is this Totoro? No. Okay, so now... It's just a bloody free-for-all. This party went out the window. Ah! Do I like Keeb? I don't know. I don't know what Keeb is. I'll be honest with you. What is Keeb? Everybody's asking me the same question, and I don't know what that means. So, uh... I have no frame of reference. Keeb is good, okay. I'll take your word for it. I don't think you're lying to me. I just don't know what it is. Crap. Guacan old disconnected. So everybody's still asking me if I like Keeb. I'm gonna Google what Keeb is, I suppose. I feel like this is a bad idea. I feel like you might be leading me astray. <laughs> Keeb. <laughs> I tried to Google Keeb, and it's a Keebler elf. Uh, an affectionate term for a keyboard? No. That doesn't sound right. Are we talking... Yeah, I'm not... Okay. Well... In my head, it's a keyboard. <laughs> According to Urban Dictionary, it is indeed a keyboard. Keep is a joke? Okay. Tell me more about the keep joke. Just kidding, we made it up. Get pranked. Ha! <laughs> no, but seriously, Urban Dictionary says keep is a real word, and it stands for keyboard. Um. <laughs> but... It's a really dumb response. Like, it's it says, an affectionate term for a keyboard, primarily used in the mechanical keyboard community. Got my new keyb today. You're what? Google it, you asshole. That's what the definition is on Urban Dictionary. So. <laughs> so keyb is a real thing. According to Urban Dictionary. Oh, Jesus. All right, everybody just saw that, right? I was just minding my own business, and Toast just fell from the freaking sky <laughs> and took me out. It was a solid move, but from my perspective, that was crazy. That t this is what happens when Toast is on the opposite team. He's too good, and he aims for me. I mean, those last two... Okay, so the first one where he dropped from the ceiling, I'd say that was definitely uh, an intentional strike on me. Like, I was hunted on that one. Uh, crap. Go, 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 go. Crap. Yeah, now I'm, I'm blatantly being hunted at this point. Specifically. <laughs> crap. I survived. That's not what you were expecting. Hot toast! Get away from me! <laughs> I 
This is what happens. This is when the stream has become unfun because Toast just hunts me. And Bob Ross. I think the entire team is on me, so I'm just gonna stand right here. I'm just gonna chill. I'm gonna pull a crystal. But it's like a rage quit a wait a rage quist. A rage crystal. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Trying to figure out how to say it. A rage crystal. A rage crystal. Let's get chill right here. Just gonna lob some grenades out there because why not? <laughs> Can't touch this. Ba -na 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 -na. Ba -na -na. Yeah, can't hit me. Can't hit me with nothing. I think Mathis also uh, is getting my hint and is getting frustrated. I don't know who Mathis is. I think my entire team is just like done with the uh, the spawn camping. So we chill. We chill in that spot. <laughs> Alright, so I now Oliver and Corgan are just... Oh, that makes sense. Makes sense. Because Oliver and Corgan are brothers, I believe. And that makes sense why they're going back-to-back -back spamming the chat. Do you like Keeb? <laughs> that makes sense. Guacanol says, haha, John just gave up at that point. Yeah. There is no point in pushing forward. It was, I was gonna end up at spawn anyway when I get murdered in cold blood every time. Like, three inches from my spawn. So I might as well just stand there and just lob some nades, you know? <laughs> Gio says, John. What's up, Gio? Look at general chat in the Discord. Okay, give me a second. <clears throat> I swear to God, if somebody's asking me, do you like Keeb or whatever? <laughs> ba -ba -da -ba -da. General Discord. Oh, that's awesome. What, the fan art? Is that what you're talking about, Geo? I assume. All right, so Geo's on my team, so we're going to push forward, but... If if it becomes necessary again, uh, we'll just we'll just camp at the spawn again and accept defeat. Cause Toasty is on the other side, and Toasty will no doubt be hunting me. I got Totoro. Crap! Get away from me, get away from me, get away from me! Alright, so I didn't get the kill, but I was an assist on that kill against Toast. So I'm pretty proud of that. Good game, anybody. Whoever got that kill, good game. Good on you. Crap. Bob Ross and Toast are on the same team again. So Guac, Guac and Noel, and Toasty Boy. Crap, crap, Toast. And this begins the part where Toast bum rushes the spawn. And la oh no, I think we're safe. Well, not safe, but as safe as I guess we can be at this point. Good, somebody killed them. I splatted Bob Ross.
We're gonna try to, uh... I'm gonna lob some grenades over there, maybe? Just start firing rounds up there. <laughs> well, we won. Oliver says Bob Ross more like Bob Sauce? Or like SOS, because he's trapped on a deserted island and he needs help. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Oliver says, so do you like keyb? Sure. I like keyboards. <laughs> uh, Gio says, lucky. <clears throat> Toshi says, why did you guys kill? Why did we kill? Wait, Omega says, my favorite episode, I assume South Park still? My favorite episode is definitely It Hits the Fan from Season 5, the one where they they say shit. Oh, yeah, 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 okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know the episode you're talking about. He says it was supposed to be a party. Oh, is that... Wait a second. Toasty, you killed me. Also, how does one simply start a party and not tell anybody that it's a party? I think that's a double-edged sword, my friend. I don't know if you can really blame the opposing group. Corgan says, do you find us funny? Who? Oh, you and Oliver? Uh, asking about Keeb over and over again? What the hell? Who did that? No, asking about Keeb over and over again, whatever that is, is not particularly funny, I wouldn't say. <laughs> My guy's got mad hops. Look how high he can jump. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Calm the hell down. We're partying here. Guy came in guns blazing. Who was that person? And why were they a jerk? Why'd they have to be put down? Whoa, 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 is he? Is that the same person that just... Are we gonna have to consistently put that person down? Because they don't know them rules? The rules of the, uh, the squid party. <laughs> okay, you chill. You with the hammer. Chill out. <laughs> Hammers are not welcome at the squid party. So can somebody explain to me the point of squid parties? And why this is a thing? Who just shot at me? We out.
I apologize to the person who shot who I shot, who was clearly not the person who shot at me. Uh, it was a natural reflex, so I apologize. <laughs> but I did see some uh, purple ink flying at my head, and I tweaked, and that was my bad. <laughs> All right. Toji said I bullied Lulu. Was Lulu the one that just kept shooting us? That's I I. Corbin says, read my chat. Hi, John. Hello. How are you? <laughs> Kowakanol says, nobody likes Lulu. I wouldn't mind Lulu if Lulu knew the rules of the squid party. <laughs> So is this going to be another squid? I feel like it only breaks into a squid party when Toast isn't opposing me. If Toast is opposing me, then it is just a regular match, and I'm on the hunted end. So, oh god, Lulu is on my team, and Toast is opposing. Wait a second, Toast. I have a bone to pick with you. Because, okay, we're squid partying again? Is that what's happening? Wait, Toast, where are you? Is that you up there? Hold on, I'm climbing my way up. Oh, somebody just died. Oh, it was Toast. Of course it was Toast. I was trying to get a good look at Toast. Wait, Toast, where are you? I have a bone. I have a legitimate bone to pick with you. Uh, are you... Oh, is that you? Wait, come back here. Is your... Okay, are you playing as a female inkling? Is that a thing? Because if you're playing as a female inkling, I'm upset. Because I have nothing against that but what I do have to say... I'm sorry, Toast, I didn't mean to kill you. I promise I didn't mean to kill you. I didn't know you were under me. I was just trying to, like, ink. But, what I... That's probably the reason this entire time that I've been accidentally calling you a female and calling you she whatever. Have you been a freaking female character in-game this entire time? Alright, you got me. We're, we're even now. We're even. Is that, what, is that what's been going on here? You've been planting, like, subliminal thoughts in my head, so I keep targeting you and saying that- and accidentally saying you're a female, and then all of a sudden you're like, Oh, I'm offended. But, like, you've been a girl in-game this entire time? Is that what's happening? Because now I'm offended. Oh, is that toast again? I can't, like, aim down sights at you. I'm gonna go back to the menu, I'm gonna try to find you. Because it looks like you're- you have the long hair. I think you've been trying to... I, I think the, the jig is up. I think... There's foul play. Gia says, I'm a boy playing as a girl. Alright, I guess that's fair. Well, yeah, I know, and that, that, that's the thing, though, like... That's an age- an age-old trick you play as a female character, like in the MMORPGs and stuff, and, like... Thirsty guys give you free stuff because you just claim that you're a girl. But, like... My question is... That very well could have been why, in the first place, I started calling Toasty a girl. Now, Geo, Geo's like a, like, Giovanni's like a real, like, guy's name. I think. I think, it, I don't know, if, can there be a Geo that's a girl? I don't know, in my head it clicks as a guy's name, but Toasty, Toasty's not a real name. Toasty could go either way. <clears throat> so with that said... Right, Toasty's saying, well, Geo is a girl inkling. Yes, but Geo is like a masculine name. Toasty is just a username. That could go any that could go either way. I think I've been I've been unnecessarily targeted this entire time, Toasty. <laughs> I'm offended. <laughs> right, because Geo is a like we're not gonna say it again, but yeah, I know I never called Geo a girl. But I fixed it now. 
We're good now. I haven't I haven't called you a girl in quite a while. I don't know. I think subliminally that's what the problem was. Because Toasty, you joined you joined my streams in Splatoon, right? So I'm thinking that might have been it. Maybe that's where I got the correlation from. Because I just don't I don't I still don't know why I ever thought you were a she. And that's the only thing that I can think of. Is yes, by the way, I did just check the Discord. Yes. The keep the keep comments, keep coming. Um Morgan says, finish the room tour and put up the stickers. I do plan on doing that. Um What the hell, Totoro? I thought we were squid partying. Shot me in the face. I wasn't even aiming for you. I just came around a corner and tried to lay ground coverage. Anyway, I'm just gonna stay away from people now. I'm being targeted. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, the <laughs> I do have to put the stickers up. They're still laying right over here. The reason I haven't is because um, a shelf fell down recently. That's not the reason I haven't all this time, but recently I've been kind of rearranging stuff, and then a shelf fell down. And, because I have, uh, I live in an apartment, so I can't use real nails, um, and real shelving, so I have to get, like, the command strip ones, and I'm super nervous that they, the shelves are gonna keep falling, and at that point, I'm gonna wanna have the stickers at a different place, and I'm not totally sure. They claim to be, like, replaceable, like, you can take them off and put them back on the walls, but I'm not totally sure. I don't think they ever really work as advertised in that regard. <laughs> So I want to make sure I put them in the final place that they're going to end up. But yeah, I put too much weight, I guess, on the one shelf, and it fell down. And it fell down <laughs> right in the middle of me recording uh, the upcoming episode of Friday Night Binge for Pause Games. So if you want to see me just swear my head off... Well, first of all, Friday Night Binge always gets rowdy. Uh, so, not for the faint of heart. Viewer discretion is advised. Um, but... Uh, if you want to see me, sorry to the person that just swam in front of me. If you want to see me, um, playing a video game and then a shelf falling off the wall. You don't see it, but you hear, like, this loud bang. And then, uh, I swear. Out of fear. <laughs> it is freaking hysterical. <laughs> like, it terrified me in the moment, because it's right there, but, it, and loud, but it is really, really funny to watch. <laughs> Hey! Hey! Chill! This is my ground. This land is my land! Hey guys, this jerk over here is taking my land and coloring it pink. And I'm not here for it. This is my swamp. Oh god! Okay, so Lulu... Lulu again! Lulu is being a jerk again, guys. We had a peace treaty signed, and Lulu broke the peace treaty. Not cool. Not cool, Lulu. Not cool. Corey says, make a list. <laughs> I actually do have a to-do list. And I will put it on there, I promise. I'm doing it right now. So I don't keep forgetting. Alright, so, to-do list. Uh, put up stickers, and then finish, uh, room tour, oops, let me get in here, uh, finish room tour, and finish the Mario documentary, that I've been pushing off as well, I've been trying to figure out, I got the main substance of the Mario documentary done, <laughs> Like, the, audio, the voiceover I did right away. That was the first thing I did. And I started building around that. Um, but I needed, like, some kind of intro. I haven't gotten... I haven't nailed out the intro yet. And some of, like, the segueing animations and whatever. I haven't totally got it 100% down yet. But still working on it. Um... 
Toshi says, can we go to private a little early? Yeah, I think so. Is Crystal here? Because Toasty, I still want to see that, that big duel between you and Crystal. Oh, uh, wait. So, we'll go back up. Freaking Lulu. <laughs> Guaganol says, yo, you guys want to do Salmon Run? Maybe. Geo says, we are in a museum. What are you talking about? Swamp John. <laughs> That was a Shrek reference, and I'm disappointing you didn't get it. We had a green ink. This is my swamp. It's a quote from Shrek. Disappointment. Um, <laughs> Toji says, coward, lol. Just kidding, she's probably busy. Yeah, I don't think... <laughs> um, Toji says, well, also, I don't know if John did tutorial. Wait, uh, what tutorial? The Salmon Run tutorial? Geo says, oh, I get it. I never watched Shrek. You've never watched Shrek? You gotta watch Shrek. Shrek is a great, great animated movie. I'm surprised anybody exists today. With all the Shrek memes, I'm surprised anybody exists today that hasn't seen Shrek. Are we squid partying? No. Not according to Bob Ross, we're not. Alright, I'm going guns blazing. No more squid parties. Where are you, Bob Ross? Is that you? Yeah! Okay, well, Toast got me back. But! <laughs> so now I have vengeance against Toast. Geo says, I'm going to kill myself on the stove. Well, don't do that. And that's not, that's not good to joke about, either. But, don't kill yourself on the stove. Don't get cooked. Stay off the hook. Crap. So yeah, the vengeance against Toast is probably uh, ill-guided. <laughs> probably not going to be able to secure that vengeance. Toast was over here hunting for me. Killed pretty much my entire team, but I was hiding. So he didn't find me. Uh-oh. No! I got Bob Ross again. <laughs> no. I need to get at least one kill on Toast, I think. I think that's... That's my goal. If I can get one... One kill. On Toast. Then I'll claim my vengeance complete. No! Bob Ross got me that time. I'll consider my, uh, my vengeance complete, and that'll be that. I see Toast is pushing up on me right now. Where'd you go, Toast? I know you're down there. Somewhere. I'm nervous. Is that Toast over there? Nope, that was Toast. <laughs> I was looking at the wrong person. So it does not look like I will be able to secure uh... My vengeance. Disappointment. <sighs> well, I got Bob Ross a couple of times. Bob Ross got me a couple of times. I think we had a, a, a fair back and forth going. Uh, Toasty, not so much. Toasty got me many a time, and I did not get a single kill on Toasty. <laughs> Toasty says, you never kill Guac, or I'll target you. Yeah, no, I noticed. But, I mean, I don't think I have anything to lose in that particular statement, because you already target me, Toast. So, I can kill whoever I want, and the outcome will be the same. I'll still be targeted by Toast the entire time. <laughs> Go 
Guacanole says, uh, yeah, don't kill Toasty Boy either. I will come for you. Well, it's an adorable arrangement you guys got, but it doesn't really matter to me because you guys target me anyway. <laughs> great it's a great partnership great partnership you got it's real real solid but with that being said if we do a tournament a doubles tournament guac and uh toasty might be wait so yeah between the two of you you're av team avocado toast <laughs> which is a real thing apparently Sounds disgusting to me, but apparently avocado toast is a real thing that people really eat. So, there's that. <laughs> but in a doubles, in the case of a doubles tournament, that might be a pretty unstoppable tag team. <laughs> team avocado toast. <laughs> hey, I splatted Splatoon. What a, what a creative name. Can we just acknowledge that? That person's username was Splatoon. Well, I'm getting double teamed, but I was hoping to get at least one kill, but... Oh, what about Crystal Dew? Nah, just kidding. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, it's up to you guys who you guys wanna would want to pick. Maybe we'll do a... Uh... Should we do a doubles tourney... Next week on Splat Tuesday. Wasn't even part of that kill. Oh, Toasty's on my team. That's why I haven't been being hunted this entire time. Is Bob Ross also? Yeah, Bob Ross. Team, uh... Team Avocado Toast is on my team. <laughs> Lucky. I see you up there. So I'm going to try to cross over there now. Oh, I got to go up this way. Bob Ross is spawning on me. A doubles tournament might be trickier, though, too. I jumped down there. I kind of shouldn't have. Geo says, oh, so just because Toast is here, we are bad? What? <laughs> are you talking about, like... Oh! <laughs> I forgot. I forgot. No. I'm just saying, statistically speaking, look at looking at the scoreboard right now, yes, we are all bad in comparison to Toast. Me included. <laughs> but we do we did have a stream team that, that time around. That was cool. Had the whole stream squad. Uh Gio says I hate avocado and I'm Mexican. I don't like avocado either. You know, I had <laughs> I think you I don't know. The one job I worked at, I worked in a factory, and there was, I was working third shift, and I was always hungry. I never packed, like, dinner for myself, because I didn't think about it, you know what I mean? Like, you don't think, oh, I should pack myself lunch for two in the morning. Um, but somebody, <laughs> I had this buddy there, Alberto, and he brought in, like, some killer food his wife made, like, Spanish food. So good. 
And it came, but he, he also gave me like an avocado that was, I don't know how it was prepared. There were marinated tomatoes, which were, oh my God, to die for. Uh, rice and beans. Oh God, I'm getting so hungry just thinking about it. Um, but yeah, no, he, he gave me an avocado and it was the one thing that I was like not into at all. Like <laughs> it was the first time I've ever tried avocado. And I think that might've been the last time I ever tried avocado too. I think I had guacamole at some point, and I wasn't into that either, but I don't know. <laughs> and yeah, we can jump into private battles after this match. It's not really all that early anymore anyway, it's pretty much the time that we would regularly... My nose, every time I try to focus on something, my nose just starting, starts getting itchy. It's not cool, nose. It's not cool, nose? Well, I got you, Toast. I had you on the run. We killed each other, but... <laughs> I think the real problem is probably that my facial hair has grown out just enough to, like, tickle the bottom of my nose. And once that's the case, it's time to trim it up, because... Ah, Toast got me. Yeah, it's freaking annoying. Sitting here, I have to, like... <laughs> comb it down with my hair, or with my hand. And so, chill out, Mario Mustache. <laughs> hey! Who was that? Is that Toast again? Of course it's Toast again! Who else would it possibly be? <laughs> and we're back to being hunted. There is Toast coming up on me. Just gonna start throwing some bombs down there. See, just keep lobbing bombs down there. I know he's down there. Toast is down there. <laughs> lobbing ink. Can't throw a hammer at me. <laughs> Alright, let me back up. Crap, I can't get back up. Retreat! Retreat! No! No! <laughs> Toast, of course. Even even in that madness, Toast was the one that still killed me. I made the mistake of stepping off my little platform thinking I could go down and get a splashdown kill on her. Or on at least one or two people down there, but nothing. Alrighty. Guacanole says I wanna verse I wanna go against Geo. Okay, so private battles time. It's not like I'm anywhere close to getting to level 15, since freaking Toasty Boy has been hunting me. Toast says, uh, huh, I kept you in spawn for so long, and you said her. I did... <sighs> okay. I did not say her. I mean, I did, literally. And then as soon as I said it, I was like, that's gonna be... I wasn't... <laughs> I was, like, trying to complete a, a thought, and I stopped, like, mid-sentence. And her was the last, like... Scrap of se not important. Never mind. Yeah, I said her. <laughs> okay, private battle time. I wasn't saying her in the sense of the word her. Okay, like the pronoun. I'm gonna set a password for this. Um, the usual thirteen thirteen, just because. Uh, you know why not? 
It's just secure enough to keep everybody out that isn't part of the stream, but everybody in the stream knows what it is. So, 13-13 is the private battle. What are we doing first? Are we doing just 1v1s? <laughs> Alright, so we're going to ready up here. Are we doing 1v1s? Who wants to 1v1? Or do we want to do 2v2? Okay, so nobody else join in if they haven't already. What we're going to do is we have uh, Guac or Bob Ross. We have Geo. We've got Toast in here. we got me. Uh, so the first one is going to be Toast says Geo versus Guac and then Toast versus Guac. Okay, so everybody versus Guac. So Toast and I will spectate this first round. We'll do Geo versus Bob Ross or Guac. Nobody else join in just yet. I'm going to do a 1v1 of Geo and Bob Ross. <laughs> uh, Guac says, I'm going to get crushed, but yeah. There will be, it'll be interesting. The tides have turned, Of the tides of the battle have turned, and, uh, Tosi says, Guac, you won't buy me, because wink, wink. It's going to be a 1v1 squid party, isn't it? <laughs> but anyway. So, it's going to be Bob Ross versus Geo, and then it'll be Bob Ross versus Toast, and that will be an interesting duel if they actually go through with it and they go they actually have a 1v1 match. Uh, because it'll be uh, dually partners going at each other in a 1v1 match. So we'll see how this goes. So Geo and Guacanole are up first. Or in game, it's Bob Ross versus Geo. So let's do it. Geo extends his good luck to Bob Ross. Bob Ross is not quite as confident, it seems saying I'm going to get crushed in live chat. So Bob Ross is up here just spinning in circles. Meanwhile, on the other side, Geo is getting some good ground coverage. Now keep in mind, ground coverage does not matter in our 1v1s here on Splat Tuesdays. Guacanol says good luck. Bob Ross, Guacanol is moving his way up. I'm going to just go with Bob Ross. Geo gets the first kill. Like I was going to say, uh, I'm going to refer to... Geo, obviously, as Geo, and since his in-game name is Bob Ross, I'm going to refer to Guacanole as Bob Ross. But if you're following the live chat here on YouTube, uh, Guacanole is Bob Ross. So Bob Ross is down by a kill. It, that's all that matters. We're not looking at ground coverage. We're looking primarily at uh, kills, unless, for whatever reason, kill count at the end of the game is tied. So Geo is, or Bob Ross is whipping out the hammer here. It's hammer time. Geo narrowly escapes. Bob Ross tries to toss it, but... Ooh, and Geo gets a second kill. Geo is now up 2 to nothing over Bob Ross. And definitely has the most, gro the most uh, ground coverage as well. Uh, Vincent, hello, what is up? Ooh, Geo gets a third kill over Bob Ross. A uh, seemingly easy victory thus far for Geo over Bob Ross. Bob Ross is gonna. Bob Ross is gonna have to come in here pretty intensely here, and uh, get aggressive. Ooh, and Geo picks up a fourth kill. Geo is on the hunt, making it look easy. So there might be some kind of underhanded peace treaty uh, during the next one v one between Bob Ross and Toast or T, uh, but not in this game. Ooh, Bob Ross gets the kill. Bob Ross has to pull up the aggression. There's less than a minute left. About 45 seconds left in the game. He is down by a deficit of three kills. Bob Ross has to make some ground coverage. It looks like he's getting ground coverage in hopes that perhaps he'll be able to tie it up. But with that hammer, he doesn't turn very well. Geo has the uh, 
the drop on him. And Geo picks up another kill to secure his uh, his victory with only 20 seconds left on the clock. I think this this deficit at this point, a four kill deficit, I think that's a little bit much to overcome. I think Bob Ross is uh, is done. 10 seconds left on the clock. And it looks like Geo will pick up the first 1v1 private battle victory of this Splat Tuesday stream. Gets another kill right at the buzzer. A buzzer beater kill and uh, wins by five kills. A total blowout for Geo. Good game, both of you. Guacanole says, no, I have failed everyone. <laughs> Good game, both sides. Geo says, sorry for spawn camping. Were you spawn camping? <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna do it again. This time it's Toast versus Bob Ross. Oh, wait, so I'm still spectating. We'll throw... Yeah, that makes sense. And then Toast, Geo will spectate. So Toast versus Bob Ross, here we go. Oh, wait. Oh, Toast says make Geo let Guac leave spawn. Oh. Uh, it was kind of a blowout, though. It wasn't like it was close. If it was like one kill away, then... You know. All right. So the first game, or the next 1v1 match here is uh, Toast versus Bob Ross. <laughs> so this one, I'm not really sure what to expect. Uh, they have made comments in live chat here on YouTube. Saying that, uh, well, Guacanole mentioned that he was going to get crushed. Toasty says, Guac, you won't be crushed by me because wink, wink. And Guacanole responded with a wink, wink. So, you know, we'll see. Uh, Toast says, don't ink till final minute. We will face off at final minute. So at 105, jump to spawn. I don't know what that means, but good luck! <laughs> Corgan says, what's up? Corgan is back. Daisy and me, what is up? Welcome to the stream. Guacano says, Geo, you gonna get ready. Is Geo up again? I don't know what the 1v1 match after this is gonna be. All right. So Toasty again is saying, don't ink till final minute. We'll face off at final minute, so at 105, jump to spawn. So I guess just a squid party, and then it's going to come down to one kill. Is that what this is? Squid party for the first two minutes. And then at 105, they both jump to spawn, and that's when the killing starts. So it's just a friendly... A friendly no ink squid party to start off this 1v1, which is interesting. Interesting choice of strategy. <laughs> Corgan is back saying keeb. So is that a word you just literally made up and then found out that it, it also has another meaning in Urban Dictionary? Or was that like... Is this like a, a legitimate thing that you are talking about the whole keep thing okay so it's legitimately just a, a word you made up and then realize that it wasn't exactly made it wasn't actually technically made up got it <laughs> same with geet geet sounds almost like it'd probably be a word We've got a minute and 30 seconds left on the clock here still no ground coverage still no kills Still no nothing. Toasty Boy says, get ready to jump. So they're going to jump to spawn at 105, and then they're going to face off for the last minute here. I don't know why. I don't know why this is the case. It just is the case. So Toasty just jumped back to spawn. Bob Ross jumped back to spawn. And one minute left on the clock, and we are underway. Bob Ross laid some early ground coverage there. 
And, uh... <laughs> Again, I have no idea why this is happening, but it is happening. And now the face-off begins! Oh, and Toast gets a kill on Bob Ross! It might be a matter of just that one kill, who knows? <laughs> a little bit under 40 seconds left on the clock. Toasty is moving up on Bob Ross. Bob Ross is pushing back. Sending in a little, uh... Little rat bot, whatever it is. <laughs> it reminds me of the thing from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I forget what it was called, though. Robo Rat or something. It's not actually Robo Rat. I forget what they're called, but... So Bob Ross is going in! Toasty's going in! It's a battle for the ages, and I think Toasty won? No? No, they just blasted off a little bit together? So yeah, it looks like it will come down to that one kill. That one kill. So Toasty Boy picks up the victory. So now it'll be, what, Geo? Or do we want to do that one again? Where it's just the whole game? Or do we want to do Toast versus Geo now? <laughs> Toasty says, John, don't question us. I, I questioned a little bit. I already did. So we're going to do another 1v1. Walking also says we have our ways. So what are we... What are the ways? What are the ways right now? Toast versus Geo? Or this matchup again? I'm going to wait on a response. Walking also says it's a secret to never be told. Uh, okay, but I need an answer. <laughs> I think it's going to be Geo versus Toast. Unless they want to rematch that one and do the full three minutes. Let's do 2v2s. Okay. Well, let's do Geo versus Toast first. Just to get a, a 1v1 champion in here, right? Out of these ones. Okay, so let's do Geo versus Toast first. And then we'll do 2v2s. I imagine... Uh, are we going to do random 2v2s? Let's do random 2v2s. And then if... if uh, Toasty and Bob Ross end up on the same team by whatever unholy grace of God, uh, it'll just be on Geo and I to fight back. Crystal, hello! Crystal has joined the chat. Uh, said, who is Bob Ross? Bob Ross is Guacanol. In the YouTube chat. Crystal says, also, yes, I need five hours of Splatoon. Corgan says, five hour stream. Oh my god. <laughs> Alrighty. So at some point, we do have to do the rematch. The best of three rematch, 1v1 between Toasty and Crystal. That has to happen before the end of the stream, now that Crystal has returned. So it's Geo versus Toast in this matchup. They each won their respective matchup against Bob Ross, so now it's going to be the champion of this of this three-person group here. <laughs> Crystal says, I want a 1v1 Bob Ross. All right. <laughs> so, still no kills. I don't know if they're intentionally avoiding each other or not. It doesn't seem like it. They're kind of lobbing bombs at each other now. Doesn't seem like either of them wants to get too close to the other one. Okay, so just to be clear, who all fate who was all eliminated in this chat? Who was all eliminated by Crystal in the uh, the Halloween tournament? Was it just 
Was it toast and guacanole? Because <laughs> if that's the case, what we'll do is we'll do a three-person tournament between toast, crystal, and uh, guacanole right now. Kind of like what we just did, but we'll determine the winner out of those three <laughs> with no spawn camping allowed. Either aggressive spawn camping or defensive spawn camping. None of that allowed. <laughs> and put an end to this tournament debacle once and for all. So 20 seconds left on the clock. It might... No kills yet. It might come down to ground coverage, which... It's hard to tell, but I think... Uh, Geo has a slight edge. Geo just narrowly escaping that Booyah Bomb. 8 seconds left on the clock. I think Geo just has a bare... Ooh, but Toasty coming back. They're both kind of getting ground coverage now. It's going to be close. It's going to be really close. <laughs> and Geo! Geo with the bare, bare competi competitive edge there by 2% ground coverage, edging out Toast. Good game. All right, so. We're going to back out here. And we're going to start a new private battle. Now, nobody join except for Crystal. Crystal says, what if we stop giving some shits about the tourney? We are going to, after, right now. So we are going to do... Toshi says we should do matches in order of how they were in the tourney. Um, so I'm trying to think. I'm going to do it the same as before. Nobody join, or else we'll have to close out of it. Uh, nobody join except for Toast, Guacanole, and Crystal. We cannot have more than that, or else we'll have to back out of the lobby because, you know, tourney rules, spectating, and whatnot. So I'll switch this over to Splatfest, Turf War Splatfest. So join in. Uh, Toast, Guac, Crystal. Um, Toasty says, me versus Guac. Crystal versus Guac. Me versus Crystal. No, that doesn't make sense. Alright, so we got... Hold on. So we got the group in. Spectate me. So, Toast versus Guac. Crystal versus Guac. Me versus Crystal. That Does that, does that make sense? I'm trying to think. Um... Well, everybody, Crystal wanted to fight Bob Ross, and Toast wanted to fight Crystal. So that doesn't make, no, so what we're going to do, that was how that was during the tourney. What we're going to do, um, who faced off against Crystal first? Who was knocked out of the tournament by Crystal first? I think it was Guac, right? So let's do Bob Ross versus Crystal, or Agent 8. That'll be the first matchup. So Toast and I will spectate. We're going to do best of three between Agent 8 and Bob Ross. And then we'll do Crystal versus Toast. And then from there, for best of three. And then whoever, you know, comes out the other side of that, we'll do a final best of three to, to have our own little tournament right here, right now. That sound fair? It is battle time between Agent 8 and Bob Ross. <laughs> so the second matchup will be Crystal and Toast. <laughs> Toast says we should do the rivalry last for hype, but okay, I guess. Uh, that that's true, I guess. Hmm. Well, the rivalry is going to end today. There's a little bit of rivalry between Bob Ross and Crystal as well, though. So, Guacanole, versus, this is the first rivalry. The second rivalry rivalry that we will put to rest is Toasty versus uh, Crystal. And then... 
it won't be necessarily a rivalry. Maybe it will. Who knows? Uh, but it won't necessarily be a rivalry. But we'll put to rest who is the champion then. And there's not a rivalry necessarily, but it would be. It is going to be extremely competitive between Toasty and Bob Ross because uh, they haven't. You haven't actually fought each other yet. You did the one minute thing at the end there, but we, you haven't had an all out three minute one v one brawl yet. And on top of that, it's for all the marbles. This is to crown a uh, a mini tournament champion here. <laughs> so it says me and Guac will have our friendship then. Yeah. <laughs> um, Corgan says, "What happened in Animal Crossing Night Adventures? Night Adventures became our random streams uh, on Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Oh, still no kills yet. Crystal fighting back against Bob Ross and gets the kill. Crystal with the first kill of the matchup." Um, Kristen, hello, 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 welcome, welcome. So this is gonna be a, uh, this is gonna be a hell of a matchup, I think, between Crystal and Bob Ross. Bob Ross needs to pick up a kill. Oh, oh, oh! An agent eight. Crystal gets another kill with the splash down there on Bob Ross. So it's now a two point deficit that Bob Ross is facing. Bob Ross has to pull up the aggression because we're just about to hit the one minute mark on this matchup. <laughs> Toasty says, uh, stay calm, Guac. One minute remaining. Bob Ross versus Crystal, a face off, and Crystal picks up a third kill. It is now three to nothing in favor of Crystal. <laughs> Toasty says, I lost four to one versus Crystal on this map, bad memories. <laughs> it could very easily go that way this time too. Crystal and Bob Ross are facing off. Another splashdown. Bob Ross evades this time. Crystal has Bob Ross on his heels. They fight back and P Crystal picks up a fourth kill. Four to nothing, Crystal. 25 seconds left on the clock. Toshi says Crystal should back up. Crystal was in the middle of it. I mean, now maybe. All right, Crystal, back up a little bit. Give Bob Ross. I think, okay, we're good. Another splashdown and another splashdown. Five to nothing. Toasty says spawn camping. Yeah, but not until now. Like now, I mean, it's it's over, right? <laughs> but yeah, so no spawn camping is allowed. Whether it's aggressive, like uh, offensive spawn camping where you're pushing up, uh, or you know defensive spawn camping where you're chilling on your own spawn and avoiding any kind of kills that way. So none of that. But yes, it is best of three, so we're back in it again. Same matchup, Bob Ross versus Crystal. Bob Ross has to come back and win this. No pressure, but total pressure. Bob Ross has to come back and win this next one. Looks like he's going to uh, rearrange his strategy a little bit. Crystal, on the other hand, looks like she is ready to go with the same loadout. So we're going to see what this next matchup has, or what this next game has to offer here. Battle time, they are, both contestants are ready. Like I said, Bob Ross has to come back and win this game in order to not be eliminated. <laughs> Crystal with the one game edge right now. All Crystal has to do is win this one, and uh, she progresses to the next round of our mini 1v1 tourney. We'll call it the Retribution Tourney. That's what we'll call it. The 1v1 Retribution Tourney. And then after this, here today, there'll be no more controversy. If Crystal comes out on top and wins, well, she's the winner. This will be the deciding factor. There's no, well, maybe if this happened, or maybe if that didn't happen, no more of that. The controversy ends today. Bum, bum, bum. On this on this week's episode of Splat Tuesday. <laughs> Bob Ross getting cornered a little bit. Crystal has the high ground but can't get shots through the wall there. Bob Ross with the slosher. Bob Ross's strategy is the slosher because sl I think he knows that Crystal does not like the slosher. So that'll be the go-to weapon of choice here. And Crystal still gets the first kill up on Bob Ross. 
with just under two minutes remaining. Only a minute gone by. Bob Ross has to get in here and get a kill. Bob Ross has not secured a single kill yet this matchup. It looks like Bob Ross is glitching all over the map. What is going on? Crystal does not appear to be glitching. What is happening? Okay, so somehow Crystal died. So it's somehow tied 1-1. Is everybody else seeing this too? So I guess after the match, Bob Ross and Crystal are going to have to weigh in. Wait, somehow... Wait, Crystal got another kill somehow. Now Bob Ross got a kill. It's all tied up with one minute left. I have no freaking idea what is going on. Everybody is lagging around. Is it just me that's not seeing it correctly? Toasty, you're, you're also in this. What's what's going on on your end? Geo says, "Will I be facing Bob Ross again?" Not right now. Right now, it's just these three contestants: Bob Ross, Crystal, and Toasty Boy. Geo says they lagging. Yeah, they're definitely lagging on my screen. Toasty says I'm seeing it, so you're seeing the lag too. What is going on? Bob Ross picks up a kill though. Oh wait, it's it's tied three three somehow. What is going on? Did they kill? Oh, they killed each other. I think. It is tied 3-3, so it's going to come down to ground coverage, and it looks like Crystal is going to pull out the victory 10 seconds left on the clock, unless Bob Ross some can somehow get a random laggy kill here. <laughs> what is going on? Who is causing the lag? What's going on? It looks like Bob Ross is the one the la that was lagging primarily. Crystal did not seem to be lagging all that much. Corgan says Bob Ross has potato internet. Toasty says Crystal's internet caused that. But for me... What is going on? Alright, she disconnected, I think. Guacanole says I'm stuck. I am also stuck. We are all stuck. Look at the map! A communication error has occurred. The map is filling in with paint. What is happening? I have no idea. Something weird is happening. So that was weird, and it was ended up tying. It was a tied match anyway, so that's going to be a rematch, I think. Uh, let me set a password again. Crystal, are you here? Yeah, it, and it ended up being tied 3-3. As far as ground coverage goes, I have no idea what to say, because even when it froze like that, after the match was over, the ground was still covering with ink, so I'm not sure... Uh, what was going on? So nobody joined this match except for Toast, Guacanole, and Crystal, if Crystal is still here. Crystal says I'm here, okay. So we're gonna take that from the top, we're gonna do, we're gonna rematch that game. <laughs> for So there are no discrepancies. I don't even know where I would begin to pick a winner on that one, to be honest. So, like I said, nobody joined this except for Toast, Crystal, and Guacanole. Those are the only three contestants that should be loading in here. So, Crystal's in. Bob Ross is in. And we're just waiting on Toast. Toast is in, so let's do it. Toast says, yeah, more controversy. Yeah, we're, we're skipping the controversy. And, uh... Yeah, that was interesting. That was an interesting matchup right there. So we're going to do it again. And hopefully there's no more potato internet. And we're not lagging. Because like I said, I, they said that Chris, it was Crystal's internet that did it. Which makes sense if she disconnected. But, at the same time... Bob Ross seemed to be the one that was actually lagging. Crystal on my screen was pretty much... You know still going. I don't know. Toasty says we should leave it at that for controversy. No. We are ending all controversy here today or at least any kind of controversy that already stands. Uh, we're, we're eradicating that controversy today. That's what the goal of this stream is going to be. Trust me, I'm sure next time there's a tourney, there will be plenty of controversy. 
but today is about ending controversy from the last tournament. Toshi says, I will find a way to make it. No. Christmas, I saw lag. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, Jesus. Is this more lag? Oh, my God, there's more lag. Okay, so wait. So Bob Ross is definitely lagging. Let me see Crystal. Crystal, just for evidence, Crystal does not appear to be lagging at all. So it's hard for me to say that Crystal is the one that's causing the lag. Now it seems like it's squared away, though. For the most part. <laughs> there was definitely some lag in the beginning there. And we've got some, like, Gumball and Darwin colors from uh, the Amazing World of Gumball. That's what we're doing right now. That's, that, those are the colors we got going on right now. <laughs> Alright, I think Crystal realized that was going to be a bad move if she took that over there, because Bob Ross is there waiting for her to pick up a kill. Going to try to go a different route now, but Bob Ross is waiting for that too. But Crystal still gets the first kill on Bob Ross. So Bob Ross, again, is in a position where he has to come up and get a kill. And it looks like he's lagging a little bit. I, I just can't bring myself to blame Crystal's internet on this one. Because look at... I mean, Crystal's not really moving right now. But Bob Ross is definitely lagging around the map. A minute left. So if it's a 1v1 versus, I don't know, we'll see how this goes. Bob Ross has to make a move now, there's like less than, thir or there just about 30 seconds left on the clock here. I don't even know where Bob Ross went. Did Bob Ross disconnect? Bob Ross just disconnected, and I'm fairly positive he disconnected when he could kill Crystal still. Yeah, no, he definitely... He definitely disconnected, and he had plenty of time, but I can't... I think he was the one lagging this entire time, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Guacanole says, I just lagged out. I think that was... I think that was Guacanole that was, has been lagging out this entire time. So... Guacanole says, you know what? What? Noob Cook, hello, welcome. Uh, Coco, Bubub, Bubub? Hello? Uh, <laughs> sorry for... Butchering the pronunciation of your name. Um, what's your favorite map in this game? Oh god, I'm not sure. I'll open that to the entire chat. What's your favorite Splatoon 2 map? Guacanole says, I'm gonna change my Wi-Fi. That might be a good call. So I'm gonna say... I'm gonna say that that's a win for Crystal. Guacanole says just make Toast and G Crystal fight. Yeah, so I'm going to say that's uh, that's a wrap because Crystal did have the upper hand going into that disconnect. So we're going to do that. Uh, Toast says, Toast says Erewhon Amal is uh, his favorite. Geo says more A towers and controversy. Uh, no more controversy. What's the password? So we have the password on there. We're not, it, right now we're doing 1v1 private battles, so we're not going to let anybody in just yet. Uh, so next up is Agent 8, or Crystal, in YouTube chat, versus Toast, or T, in uh, Splatoon. Toasty says, I'm scared. So it's Crystal versus Toast. This is the big controversy. So for anybody who's just tuning in now and doesn't know the backstory of this matchup, on Halloween, the morning of Halloween, or early afternoon of Halloween this year, I had a 1v1 Halloween tournament live stream here in Splatoon 2. And Crystal is the first tourney I ever did. Um, but Crystal employed a tactic of spawn camping where she would basically get a kill, retreat to her spawn, 
and she would stay there for the rest of the match uh, where she couldn't be killed. And this got her all the way to the finals against a player named Honeydew, who was not here today, uh, but a frequent stream uh, viewer here. And uh, got her all the way to the finals, and then the finals I decided, you know what, that you got a point there that is kind of unfair, and I want this to be a fun and explosive final. So I uh, eliminated, or I uh, outlawed, I should say, any kind of spawn camping, both offensive spa spawn camping or defensive spawn camping, and Honeydew ended up beating Crystal. So the controversy is that Toast claims that he would have won, or at least made it to the finals, he would have beat Crystal, if uh, Crystal had not been spawn camping, or permitted to spawn camp. Crystal says that she would have won anyway. So, now it comes down to this. Last Tuesday, we had a stream, and we did something similar, but there was some controversy. I forget what the controversy was, but the, there was some controversy whether or not uh, it counted. So this is for all the marbles now. This is to end the controversy between these two. High stakes. Best of three matchup, 1v1 games, and uh, ground coverage doesn't matter unless for whatever reason at the end of the game... Um, the kill count is the same, so if no kills have occurred, if they both got two kills, or one kill, or four kills on each other, doesn't matter. That's the only time ground coverage would become a factor to determine a winner. <laughs> um. Let's see. Noob says, can I join the, the list of 1v1? Yes, next matchup. If we still have time. I'm not sure. I usually stream for about two hours, so this stream will probably be over around five o'clock. And then if Guacano comes back in here... Well, actually, so Crystal... Crystal won that last round. So now Crystal versus Toast. If Crystal wins this matchup, Crystal is the all-over, the all-around winner of this Retribution tourney, this abridged Retribution tourney today. If Toast wins, then technically, Toast and Crystal will go another bout to see who is the overall winner. Toast picks up the first kill with less than a minute on the clock remaining. <laughs> my nose is super itchy. My, my facial hair is, is tickling my nose. <laughs> Time to trim it. It's so annoying. <laughs> but anyway, we're down to almost 30 seconds. Now remember, Toast. Toast is on the run here. Remember, no, uh, no spawn camping. But it doesn't look like that's going to be an issue. <clears throat> Crystal has to push up. Heavy resistance. 20 seconds about left on the clock here. Crystal absolutely has to push up and get a kill to tie this up. And then it'll go into uh, factoring in ground coverage if it ties. 10 seconds remaining on the clock. Crystal pushing up. Toast is far away. Making a hasty retreat with 2 seconds left on the clock. And Toast will pick up the first win of this best of three matchup. Geo says, uh, hey guys, about the shoes I want to order, respond. What shoes? Is that in the Discord? Or is that somewhere in this chat? So Toast picks up the first win here. I didn't see any lag either. Did either of you experience any lag? So Bob Ross is back in the matchup now. So we'll spectate Bob Ross with me. And we go into game number two between Crystal and Toast. There was no lag during that. Crystal says, what's with the stream delay? I mean, yeah, there's some stream delay. Um, the same as always, though. I have ultra low latency up on YouTube, so the stream shouldn't be any different than usual. Um, there's always a little bit of stream delay, obviously, because to match up my camera and my mouth with the video, the gameplay, and all that good stuff, but. So Guacanol says, oh, actually, I'm gonna leave, so there is no lag. Uh, is that a problem? Do you think that's gonna be an issue? If we experience lag this round, let me know so I can boot uh, Guacanol. <laughs> Or tell Guacano to leave. I can't actually boot him, but... Um, it doesn't look like there's any lag right out of the gate yet, but... 
So Toast has the upper hand right now. Crystal has to win this, sending in some Tenta Missiles. Crystal has to win this game, or else we're going... Well, if Crystal doesn't win, Toast wins this first matchup. And then we're going to go into another uh, best of three matchup between Toast and Crystal to determine the winner. If Toast is, again, if Toast wins this best of three. It's kind of weird having three people and it working out. Toast picks up another kill and takes a one kill lead over Crystal in this game. I don't see any lag happening, so I think you're good to go, Guacanol. I don't know. I don't know if you changed your internet or what's the deal, or maybe if it's just because you're not actually playing, you're just spectating, but it seems like you're good to go. Pixelfish says, I have such a love-hate relationship with this game, it makes me want to throw my Switch out the window, but also keep playing at the same time. I love this game. So the Tenta Missiles from Crystal, again, were no good. Toast is able to evade relatively easily. Toast has the high ground, is going to blast off back to spawn. Toast was feeling cornered, it appeared. So Crystal lobbing some bombs up. Toast has the high ground once again. Throwing some bombs back and forth. All right, less than a minute on the clock. Toast leads by one kill. Agent 8, or Crystal, as she is in uh, the YouTube chat, has to make her way up and get a kill here if she wants any hope of tying this up. Toast going for another kill, pushing up on Crystal. Tenta missiles inbound. That one got dangerously close, but Toast, again, for the third time this game, able to evade. Where did Crystal go? Crystal blasted back to spawn to reset. 20 seconds left on the clock. There's a face-off here. Crystal can get a kill, but Toast has the upper hand and gets a kill. It is now 3 to nothing somehow. Wait, wasn't it just 1 to nothing? No, okay, never mind. It was 2 to nothing. Either way, it's 3 to nothing now, and it looks like Toasty will come away with the victory. 3, 2, 1, and that is game. So Toast with another clean sweep, two games, one. So Toast moves on to the finals, which just so happens that the finals, since Crystal beat out Guacanole, and now Toast beat out Crystal, Crystal and Toast will move on to the finals and we'll have another 3v3, or not 3v3, 1v1. Oh, Toasty says gotta go though. Okay, so Toast is bailed, Toast has to go. Controversy. No controversy. So that is the end of that controversy. Toast is victorious. And so, uh, Geo. So right now we have, uh, let's do one more matchup between Crystal and Bob Ross. And then we'll open this up. Open the floor for more people to come in. We'll have Geo come in. And we'll have Noob come in as well. Because Noob wants to play. And, uh, I don't know. Do we want this? Noob, do you want to do a 1v1, or would you rather do just random, you know, matchup? So let's get in here for now with Crystal versus Bob Ross. There was some controversy this last matchup because of lag and whatnot. So hopefully that lag has been terminated on the end of Bob Ross, and we can get a good one, a good, thorough, full three-minute, no disconnect, uh, 1v1 in here. Okay, so Noob wants to 1v1. Noob, who do you want to 1v1? Crystal says, wait, since Toast bailed, that means he lost. So, to well, he didn't know. Toast won the that matchup. Alright. So, Noob wants to face off against Bob Ross. So, Bob Ross, after this matchup, you got, another com you got some more competition coming up. If you choose to accept the battle. <laughs> Alright. 
So as far as ground coverage, there's a there's a ravine between these two. Crystal's moving in. <laughs> moving in for the kill here. <laughs> they clash in the middle. A face-off, a splashdown, and Crystal gets the kill on Bob Ross with a splashdown. That splashdown has been lethal versus Bob Ross. <laughs> Geo says, I want a 1v1 Bob Ross too. Alright, so... After this, uh, we might disband it, and we'll open up a new group. Another splashdown, almost lethal, but Crystal still gets the second kill there. So it's 2-0, Crystal is leading over Bob Ross in both kills, and clearly ground coverage as well. Not that the ground coverage matters, but, you know... Crystal says, but he left. But, the, I mean, the matchup between you two is over. It was a best of three, and Toast won two of the three. So, even though he did leave, uh, he left after his matchup was over. Or, like, your, your face-off was over. Alright. So, Bob Ross is hiding out. Bob Ross, you need to make some moves here. I don't think you've landed a single... Crystal gets another kill. I don't think Bob Ross has landed a single kill on Crystal this entire stream. Well, not this entire stream per se, but the entire stream in regards to Private Battle 1v1s. There's less than a minute remaining. Bob Ross still, still looking for that last minute, that first, that totally necessary first kill. I think Bob Ross is using the slosher again. Oh, and another lethal splashdown! Crystal premeditated Bob Ross moving in for the kill there and gets a splashdown in. Bob Ross looks to be conceding. Crystal back up a little bit just to let Bob Ross come out if he chooses to, but it looks like he is conceding. That'll be the end of it. 14 seconds left on the clock. Crystal has backed up now. Uh, but Bob Ross has conceded. Nope, with the last 10 seconds, Bob Ross will make a move out of his spawn. But that's the end. 2, 1, and that is game. Crystal picks up the win over Bob Ross. A completely dominating victory, both in ground coverage uh, as well as kills, obviously. The final score was 5 kills to nothing. Crystal coming out on top of that matchup. Alright, so I'm going to back out of this now uh, and create a new private battle to close out the stream. we got about 12 minutes left. So we're going to create a new room. And now for this room, I'm going to set the same password just because, you know. So the password will be 1313 or 1313. It's my lucky number. Uh, so the only people that are to join this this uh, lobby, this private battle, is Bob Ross, a.k.a. Guacanole, Geo, and Noob. You guys are all still here, right? So, Guacanole, Geo, and Noob, you can jump in here. I'm going to set Splatfest. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Noob says, bro, you kind of toxic. Who? And who and why? <laughs> Explain. So Bob Ross is in. Chris says I want to 1v1 Geo then. We will get you... We'll, we'll close out. Is Squid Kid a uh, noob? Just to confirm. Alright. So I'm assuming that... Squid Kid is noob. So what we'll do is we'll do noob first. Tony says I can chat still. Awesome, awesome. Um, Geo says I'm the real Bob Ross. Alright, so noob is Squid Kid. Awesome. So we're going to do Bob Ross versus Squid Kid. That's going to be the first up matchup up. And then Bob Ross versus Geo. And then, uh, we're gonna close out 
<laughs> Mark also says, no, he's using the afro. We'll close out the stream with Crystal versus Geo, then. Because that should be a very interesting 1v1 match, then, too. <laughs> Alright, so Bob Ross versus Squid Kid is the first matchup. We're just, we're just going to do one-off 1v1s. We're not going to do best of threes. Uh, because we are running low on time, and I want to get everybody's 1v1 that they want to do in. So this first one is Bob Ross versus Squid Kid. Let's get underway. So again, the rules are, for anybody who's just tuning in now, uh, the rules are, you have to... We're going by kills, so... Whoever gets more kills or more splats is the winner, no matter what. Uh, if for some reason it turns out that uh, that comes out tied, then and only then does ground coverage matter. So let's get in here, the action. Ooh! A great evasion by Squid Kid. Bob Ross throwing a hammer. Bob Ross, ooh, and Squid Kid picks up the first kill on Bob Ross. So Squid Kid is out with the roller. Laying some ground coverage here. Bob Ross has to get back in the action. Bob Ross has to pick up a kill. Bob Ross Bob Ross has not been doing very well in these 1v1 battles. He's been crumbling under the pressure, but he can do it. I believe that he can do it. Toasty is definitely in the chat cheering him on. So it's Bob Ross versus Squid Kid. Another hammer time! And he gets the kill! Bob Ross claiming his first kill in this matchup. It is tied 1-1. A great kill for Bob Ross. A little bit of positive reinforcement, it seems, is all Bob Ross needed uh, to paint some pretty little trees on the map here and uh, get the kill on Squid Kid. So it is tied 1-1 now. This is going to be an intense matchup, I think. The hammer time, man. The hammer time. I hate the hammer for that exact reason. There's no way to escape it. I mean, there is, but Squid Kid got a great uh, evade in the beginning there. When he when Bob Ross threw the hammer. The hammer time again! Squid Kid gets behind it, but still, Bob Ross claims another life with the hammer. So now it is two to one. Squid Kid has to come back with the hammer. Well, not with the hammer, but come back and get a kill on the hammer. Bob Ross has a secure lead, 40 seconds. Well, not really a secure lead, he's a one-point lead. Squid Kid has to come back and get the kill here. The hammer, it's hammer time again! Squid Kid evading! Oh, and Bob Ross gets another hammer kill! Bob Ross might have found his groove using the hammer. 20 seconds left. This is exactly why I hate the hammer. Let me just let me just tell you. But <laughs> Bob Ross picking up some big kills with the hammer. Found his groove. 10 seconds left on the clock. 3 to 1. Just says he dis he disconnected. Who disconnected? That might have been a rage quit. That might have been a rage quit. I'm not totally sure. Rex Fan Gaming 04 says the hell is this? This is Splatoon 2 1v1 battles, my friend. <laughs> so Bob Ross gets the 3 to 1 victory and quite possibly a rage quit at the end there by Squid Kid. I'm not totally sure. Uh, <laughs> Rex says, just say Rex. Got it. All right, so Rex, welcome to the stream. So next up here, we got uh, Bob Ross versus Geo. Well... Yeah, okay, that works. So Bob Ross versus Geo next up. And then uh, at the end of this one, we'll go in, we'll close the stream out with Geo versus Crystal, I believe, right? I think Geo called Crystal out. Or other way around. I think Crystal called Geo out. <laughs> Noob says, if you can't use your main, then don't play. Ooh. I mean, anything goes, man. Anything goes in the 1v1 matches. <clears throat> Alright. Well, not not anything goes. Geo says, let me 1v1 Crystal too. Alright. So after this matchup, we're going to back out. 
and we're going to have, uh, it'll be Geo versus Crystal to end it out. Geo does have the afro, claiming to be the real Bob Ross. <laughs> is he using a paintbrush too? Because I hope he is. He is. The legit Bob Ross has arrived. <laughs> using a paintbrush and wearing an afro. So it is Geo, aka maybe the real Bob Ross. I think whoever wins this matchup is the real Bob Ross. Geo might be a Bob Ross imposter. But Geo gets the first kill, so right now Geo is claiming the, the real spot of being the authentic Bob Ross. Two minutes and 25 seconds left on the clock here. Tenta missiles up. And. Bob Ross evades. Geo coming in for another kill. Gets another kill. Geo kills Bob Ross again. Again, there's a 2 to 1, or 2 to nothing uh, lead now. For Geo, Bob Ross has to get back in this and claim his position as the real, the authentic Bob Ross. And Bob Ross, again, killed by Geo. Geo picks up a third kill. Three to nothing. It is starting to tilt. This map is looking lopsided as Geo takes a three to nothing lead over Bob Ross. Geo might be. Oh, Bob Ross gets a kill, though. It is 3-1. Bob Ross looking for a comeback victory here. A minute and 30 seconds left on the clock. We are halfway through this matchup, and Bob Ross has gotten in the swing of things. Bob Ross is ready to roll. Let's see if Bob Ross can complete a come-from-behind victory, or if Geo's lead is just too much to overcome for him. Dakota, hello. Geo sending in more Tenta missiles. Bob Ross evades. Geo on the roof! Oh, and Geo gets the kill! The aerial attack! One minute left on the clock. Four to one. Geo look is looking to close out this 1v1 with a big victory over Bob Ross and to claim himself as the real, the one true Bob Ross. Meanwhile, Bob Ross, aka Guacanol, is coming in. I don't know if Bob Ross can claim the name Bob Ross anymore. If Geo, dressed and painting as Bob Ross, Proves himself to be the true Bob Ross. Geo gets another kill, 5-1. to one. That looks like it'll just about close it up. We have less than 30 seconds left on the clock. Bob Ross back in the action, though, will not quit. Like the true Bob Ross, I imagine, I guess. Uh, there's no quit in him. <laughs> I don't actually know much about Bob Ross other than that he's a painter and happy little trees. I think that's what most people know about him. More Tenta Missiles from Geo, and they get the kill on Bob Ross! And Geo will close it out! That is game! And it looks to me like, what was that, a 6 to 1? 6 to 1, overwhelming victory by Geo, aka the real Bob Ross. Guacanol says, uh, no, Bob Ross would never fight anyone, or fight someone. That's probably true. But that doesn't imply that he would lose in a fight, either. So, <laughs> Geo yells, the true Bob Ross. All right, so we're going to... Actually, Crystal, just jump in here. So, Crystal, jump in here now. To close out the stream, we're going to do one more match. versus Geo versus Crystal. I'll leave Bob Ross in to spectate here. Um, let's see. Rex says, splashdown. Uh, has become, or has been nerfed, I think. Alright, so Bob Ross did leave. Alright. And Crystal is in, so let's get underway here. Uh, just because I'm, whatever, I need OCD, Alpha, and then Bravo. Just, don't question it. Anyway, so Geo versus Crystal for the final 1v1 of today's Splat Tuesday stream. Guacanole is heading out. Thank you so much for tuning in, and thanks for playing along. Uh, Bob Ross Jr. I'm going to call Bob Ross Bob Ross Jr. now, uh, because technically, uh, Geo showed him who is his daddy <laughs> and whooped up on him pretty good. Maybe the true Bob Ross. There is Bob Ross. See, he's even dressed as him. Bob Ross has been jacked. His name, his identity has been hijacked. <laughs> Alright. 
So Crystal, aka Agent 8, is over here on her side. Now remember, no spawn camping of any kind. Tenta missiles inbound. No spawn camping of any kind here. Crystal tried to spawn camp, it looked like, uh, with those Tenda missiles, but they came in too high. So let's see, Geo looks to be pushing up. No spawn camping in any way, and when I say that, I mean both offensive and defensive. No, you know, staying back so you can't be killed, and also no pushing up so you they can't escape. More Tenta missiles coming in! Ooh, and Crystal just narrowly escapes the explosions of those Tenta missiles. And again, for anybody who's just tuning in now, uh, if anybody doesn't know the rules of these 1v1s, kills count, only kills count, splash, uh, ground coverage does not matter in any way, unless for whatever reason the matchup comes down to a tie in regard to splash counts, then we look, and only then do we look, at uh, ground coverage. Geo, aka Bob Ross, the true Bob Ross, is in here. Splashing with the paintbrush. And Crystal gets the first kill! is in chat yelling, Go Crystal! Tosi says, If needed, I'll tell the aggressor back up. And John can too. Yes. So Geo is pushing up. I don't know if... I'm gonna say Crystal back up a little bit. But Geo's doing a good job of pushing back. I don't know if Geo's really in an, oppor in an inopportune position at, th at this point. One minute left. Because Geo could have very easily made it out of that f one of the flanks, too. So Geo is uh, still down by one. Geo has to get a kill here in order to tie this matchup up. Crystal pushing forward very aggressively. There's no spawn camp in now. This is... This is a flat-out hunt. Geo firing back with Tenta missiles. Nothing. Gets nothing on it. Geo. Rex says coverage is key to a sound victory, but not in 1v1 battles. Unless it ties up, obviously. Crystal tries to get a splashdown kill, but doesn't get it because Geo had the high ground. Geo comes back and ties it up. Now it's a tied 1-1 match. 13 seconds left on the clock. Now it's gonna, it might very well come down to ground coverage unless one of these two can get another kill. And as far as ground coverage goes, it's gonna be hard to tell. I think Geo might have the competitive edge in ground coverage. No more kills. It's gonna come down to ground coverage. And it's gonna be a tough one, but I think Geo has the... Geo with the victory. Geo with the victory. Good game, everybody. Bob Ross with back-to-back -back victories. The real Bob Ross, I should say, with back-to-back -back victories here. What an incredible matchup, though. Rex says no more coverage means more no mobility. That is also true, though. That is true. So, with that being said, that will just about wrap it up for this week, Splat Tuesday. Thank you so much for everybody who tuned in. Um, I am the Nintendo Beast. And uh, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to ring that bell for notifications. When I do go live, I stream every Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. I do uh, Animal Crossing Let's Plays in Animal Crossing for GameCube, City Folk for the Wii, and uh, New Horizons on Switch every Sunday. Those are pre-recorded videos that I premiere on the channel every Sunday. And uh, let me think. those are all the, the basic things that are weekly and then intermittent videos in between i'm working on a mario a super mario documentary and stuff like that too that'll be uploaded to the channel so lots of cool stuff coming up make sure to subscribe like i said and ring that bell for notifications when i go live and when i upload new video content like all of that and uh that'll just about wrap up this week split tuesday thank you so much for everybody tuning in once again i am the nintendo beast and i will talk to you guys again next time